Might just keep them in there like that. Use them when they're all done. Put them back in there. I'll take them and I'll charge them all. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Guys, we are super happy that you are here. So please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation yet. Because on today's episode, we have got an all new bike day. And who doesn't like bike day? Huh? Is that is is that how we're starting now? It's bike day, baby. Look, here, here's my thing. You like when I do that. So I, I, I hate when do you do that. that. Love here's it. my thing. You were trying to. I come in here and you're trying to find out what model this is. I was trying to find out all the information. I about don't this bike. want you to find out anything about it right now. Because I want. Because do do I not want they, do we do we fake stuff? No. Exactly. I don't want to. I, I don't know what bike it is. You're I was thinking. trying to read the side, but I did not get a name out of it because I'm not sure which one it was that was sent. I I do know this though. It was not sent by a company. No. Um. Yeah. For everybody's information out there, we did bikes not purchase online. this, but it was not sent by a company. It was yes. not sent by Bikes Online or Polygon. Nothing or, affiliated with Polygon whatsoever. So this is our bike that we did not purchase but it was not them that sent it and uh, we don't know anything it. about it because there were some options there it's like hey um this we bike will be sent to you about four or five different anything. types of bikes and this one is one of them so you might i'm not know sure a few things i know nothing i know a color that's it that's all i've seen on there and then yeah, it said model see, bxg 725 i don't want to know a color i want to see i want to be genuine with my response. so guys on today's episode we are going to be finding out what is the new bike that is in this yes. box because we don't know okay and we're gonna be doing initial impressions on it once we spec it out i'll be able to tell you guys all the numbers on this thing uh, what the what kind so, of group set it's got so what I kind guess, of fork so i guess i'm not going to put what bike it is in the title for a while then because it, all this would make no sense then all right guys so again, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, if you're any part of the Wolf Dick Nation, if you guys are excited as much as we are, we're fixing to cut this thing open, we're going to find out what bike is this that was sent to us. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's do this. All right. Get off my hand! I'm at Lowe's. Get All right, guys. Wolf Tech Nation. Here we go. Let's see what this is. No clue what it is. Right. Okay. It's not bad looking. I can say that. Okay, it's a polygon. Oh, polygon. Okay, polygon. I was looking for something. Uh, I guess it's right there. Yeah. We got yeah. a kickstand. That's I can see. Reuse. Boy, they really want to check the kickstand. It's here. Dude, they package the crap let's out of this thing. How, let's let's look how it's packaged. So far, it looks. I love the Velcro strap. I am a fan of Velcro straps. These are reusable. Okay, yeah, can you guys see this? Let me, just, let me let me bring this camera in a little I bit. I see a rear quick release. How about the color? That's a uh, Clark's rotors there. Was oh, it Clark's? Uh huh. That's a good thing. I love Clark's rotors. Yeah. You guys all know that. Um, medium. It's a medium. Okay, it's medium. Is it a 29er? Uh, it's 27 by it looks like. That's the size. 27 five by 2.10. There you go. Okay, so we have got, what's the rear rotor size? Did you say it? Oh, no, I did not. This is a Clark's? Uh, the rear? 160. It's 160. Okay, so Everyone's we got, been having a problem with the 160. Man, we got 160, 160. I'm telling you, I'll tell you guys what, man. The 160 stuff is just, like I, Big Sister Brandy called you, me the other day. She said, look, you're a 180 or a 203 guy. You're not a 160. No, I'm going to tell you who called it. Who called it's your dad. I called it a long time ago wanting to put 203s on the rear, and I didn't care what that was on the front. Yeah. All right, so we've got a uh, pedal tool. We've got a multi-tool, and by the feel of it, it sounds like there's some other stuff in there. we got pedals, quick release, all that good stuff in here. Um, even got a bell, okay, reflectors. Okay, so we've got just kind of radio stuff, a little bit of keychain action. You didn't show this. Yeah, I did. Well, you didn't talk about it. I said it's got a multi-tool and a pedal tool. You, you just don't pay attention to what I say. No, I pay attention to stuff. I'm just, you say a lot of bull****. Premier 4. Premier 4. So it's a Premier 4. Okay. So you guys had to wait all this time. Oh, that's cool. An entity seat. Look at that thing. That's nice. That's a pretty sleek seat there. It feels like a 27.2. 27.2. What's the price point on this bike? Do we know? No clue. All right. You know what else is different? We'll find that out here in a minute. You know what else is different? Huh. Is This is our very first. Let me oh. focus box down here. Our oh. very first... Two by. Oh, it is. This is a two by, guys. So okay. it's a two by something. 
I don't know if that's a free wheel or a free hub or a free wheel. It kind of yeah, it looks like a free hub. Yeah, it looks like a free hub. We'll mess with it here in a second. So this is the Polygon Premier 4, size medium, 27.5 mountain bike. I like how the um, the kickstand's mounted. So it doesn't leave. So you Behind. can just, yeah, and you can just unbolt it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't leave any kind of funkiness there or any tabs or, you know what I'm saying? It's not welded not on. Not welded. So when yeah. you do take your... your your kickstand off if you don't have a bunch of bolts or like a big old piece of flanged metal hanging down. Yeah, I like that. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. Do you guys see what we're seeing? I do. I, I saw. Do you I see what we're seeing? Let me let me put the camera One of over the first here. First things I noticed. Dude. Which I don't know how I feel about these days. I know it. Point to it. Tell me what it is. That's a hydraulic uh, caliper right there. So we yes, got hydraulic brakes. We got hydraulic brakes, people. Yeah. At least on the rear we do. You never know these I days. I see the rear as hydraulic. Yes. That's not a bad looking bike. I'm curious if Well, I don't know. We haven't really seen it yet. That's but it does here. look like it's pretty good. I just, it's kind of funny though. We're on a gray bike kick lately. Let's all find out together what kind of fork this thing's got on it. Uh oh. Yeah, we don't know yet. Ready? Ah. Uh, okay, it says an SR Sun Torque. Okay. 120 millimeters of travel. So it's a coil fork. Okay, it's at the double preload. Double like, preload. Like we've been dealing with, yeah. Well, I can't, I can't make any noises or or feel a certain way until I know the price point. Because mine, mine really matters on that. You know, like how I feel about something. Yeah, because this is, thing can be eight hundred dollars. And then I'd be like, ooh, that's rough. Yeah. But if it's a lot less, then who knows? What what model is it? Let me look it up. You look it up. He's gonna look it up. I'm gonna get you guys some different shots of this thing. Well, this is a Polygon Premier. We'll look it up and smoke a cigar. Polygon Premier Four. Okay. Polygon Premier Four. Okay, so the Polygon Premier Four Twenty Seven Five bike right now is on sale for four ninety nine. Is it free shipping? No. Make sure. And it says calculate shipping. Stop your camera. Ooh, it's seventy five dollars shipping. So that puts it at five seventy five. I'm recording, son. Well, stop your damn camera so I can record this one. Um, something very interesting is it has internal routing. Yeah. Okay. What I don't like is the rear brake is not internally routed. Is it external? Yeah, it's external for the rear brake. I like that. I know that's weird, but I like it. But then what's internally routed is the front derailleur. You know, because it's a two-by. But what if you want to take off the front derailleur? Then it's kind of a useless internal routing for the front derailleur. Unless they've got one for the for a seat post. But I don't see a hole for the seat post. So you've got an so internal you routing. Use the one for a dropper. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you wanted to, you could run an external uh -huh. instead of running on the top tube. You could run, run an external down, down here, yeah. and then feed it through there. But then at that point, it's still all exposed. So you might as well, well just go ahead. Well, it's not all the way exposed. Yeah, I don't know if they make it cable that long. For that it. is interesting, though. Yeah. Uh, but a reason I like the rear brake to not be internal on, on so you can look. That gives options for whenever we test brakes. Yeah. Whenever, whenever we're testing a new hydraulic <clears throat> brake, we don't like to separate them if they're not separated to begin with, so we don't want to route them. Yeah. And no, so way, it's, it's way cleaner. Know, yeah. It's cleaner. Yeah. And then we can just go, oh, let's pop this brake off, put another one, especially these being hydraulic. So obviously the front's not internal as well because that just goes right down to the fork. So your rear derailleur and your front derailleur are both internally routed. I think the, the so far, just by looking at this bike, uh -huh. the... The most upgraded thing, I guess, or the best feature that looks to have is going to be the uh, the hydraulic brakes. And I want to say, I haven't seen the levers yet, but just by the looks of it, it looks like it has uh, Clark's um, calipers. And if it has Clark rotors, that would make sense. Huh. You know what I'm saying? But those well, look just like the M2s. So you're saying that the, the, the feature of this bike that, that is stands out is the brakes. Well, the 2 by. Yeah, and the 2 by definitely. Um, <clears throat> we don't know much about, in the, we haven't pulled it out of there yet, so we don't know what we're dealing with on the, um, the group the specs set. whatsoever. Well, yeah. we haven't, we're, I'm not getting the specs yet. We haven't looked at the group set. And another thing I can see people bringing up is the um, the head the head tube, you know. It looks to be a 44 to 44 um, as opposed to a tapered. So I can see people bringing that up as a problem as well, you know. But we've all figured out we can, like Project Cheech, we put a uh, tapered tube on a straight steer head, or a straight head tube with a tapered fork i yeah a lot of people have a problem with it not being tapered i i i kind of almost prefer the 44 for because you have so many more options which mm. sounds crazy 
but you actually because you could slack it out if you want to on the 44 or you could uh or you can you can add a tapered fork if you want on the 44 so the 44 gives you more options in my opinion you don't see any out anything else that stands at this point all right mm -hmm. well, let's get it out of there and get it put together It's got a flat. It does have a flat. The one I didn't pitching, realize it even had it a has flat. A, and now I don't know if it has a flat so it fits in the box because there was plenty of clearance on the wheel and the tires. Is it back flat? Um, yeah, it needs air. Okay, it's so, not dead flat like that. Okay, well, so maybe it's intentionally flat. I don't know. I would like for you to mention certain things before we get into the specs. These look to be Clark either M1 or M2 hydraulic brakes. Is that what they are? I, it looks just, I mean, we've we've tested them both out in the channel. Yeah. They look just like. Is I think it's listed as having. Um, Tektro M275s. Really? Yeah. So that's one of those situations where, where they, they list something completely different. Something? Yeah. Which I believe I like the M2s more than the M1s, I think that was. I don't know okay, you guys can go back and watch those. you don't like either one more than the Tektro 275s. No, the MT275s got me all excited. Like, those brakes are amazing. So that these aren't those, they're that kind of... like you're flooring it right now, by the way. Yeah, pretty, pretty close to flooring it. Oof. But you guys know how hydraulic brakes go. Oh, buddy. Um, another thing I really like about this, and I kind of figured this out with the uh, with Toby's bike. You know, he didn't have the quick release mm. on there. This right here actually has a quick release on the seat post clamp. So I do like that. The thing, though, we're going to have to check out the uh, standover is that's as far down as it will go. Oh, it's got that it, situation. And it might be these bolts right here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. No. Wow, so that's not it. It's the bosses, I guess, in there. So it won't take in the screws out. Will not do it. Well, that's a that's a dislike. That kind of worries me yeah. because I like for my seat post to be, or I like for my seat to be slammed. All right, let's uh, let's get some information. Let me write some numbers down, guys. We're gonna spec this bike out. Not a bad Give it looking a bike. We'll test. We'll weigh it. We're probably gonna skip the dyno. Yeah, we're gonna do a shift test too. Yeah, shift test. All right. We're gonna air up the tires before we do a shift test. Right, let's go ahead and do the magnet test, guys. Frame is aluminum, okay. okay? The fork is steel. The stem and the bar are aluminum. Seat post tube is aluminum. The crank set is aluminum. What's the lowers on the fork? You just hit the zippers. Those are aluminum. Right. Or the, uh, the chain ring is steel. Uh, again, yeah. the crank arms are aluminum. The wheel is aluminum. Double wheel. Whoa, and the spokes are aluminum. Oh, okay, that's different. Oh, wow, spokes, spokes are aluminum. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's everything. Pedals, they're plastic. plastic. It does turn out, just like all other sites, and everybody talked about this with the Canyon stuff, when we did Toby's bike, uh, manufacturer can change stuff up, and they've definitely changed the brakes up, right? Yeah, which you you seem to have mixed feelings on. Yeah, I mean, I got. I'm. I believe um, we we've, we've tested out the Clark. Uh, they are called the Clout ones and the Clark M2s. I was a way bigger fan of the M2s because we have those on the bike still. We took the Clouts off. So this bike here, we did a little bit of cross referencing. They're the exact same. So these are the Clark's M2 hydraulic brakes. Okay, um, that's what they are. And I'm a fan of those ones. Not as much as the Tetra MT275s that are supposed to come on this bike. And that's the kind of stuff that kind of sucks because if I was expecting those to be on here, well, you know, it's not like we ordered this bike, but yeah, Say but if we, we did, had ordered this bike, you would have been a little bit upset. Oh, I would have been very upset because those are my some favorite, of your brakes. favorite brakes. Yeah, yeah. you anyway. like Tektro brakes, unlike a lot of people. You have had very little problems with. Tektro. I love Tektro brakes. Yeah. yeah, I got those on the ledge. That's that's my those are my brakes, man. So I want you guys. Remember, we're gonna do who the spike is for. Uh, some of the positive at and the negatives end. at the stay end. Tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. But one thing I want you guys to do while we're specking this bike out. 
if you think there's a better deal out there or if you guys think, um, you know, do you agree with the price? Do you disagree with the price? Let us know. Do you think this is a good deal? $575, roughly, yeah. roughly what you can get this bike for. Let us know what you guys think of from what we let you guys know on it. But let's go ahead and start talking about it, guys. Um, let's start off with the brakes, okay? Since uh, everybody knows what they are. They are the Clark M2 hydraulic brakes. The uh, rotors are some of my favorite rotors. First time we ever did any kind of upgrades on this channel or some aftermarket stuff when it came to rotors, it was with the Clarks. And these are 160s, both front and rear. Um, I'm not a fan of the 160s. I wish they had given us a 180 and a 160 maybe. Something I a little don't. bit different. I, I, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going even further. I'm saying a 180, 180, or I want to buck the trend. I want to start going bigger rotors on the rear. Yeah. Well, you use that rear so much more. I don't than care. You say you use the front, but you use the rear a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I ain't tripping on that. Right. Uh, let's go and talk about this crank set, guys. Now, again, this is the first time uh, we've had a two by on this channel, which is pretty interesting. On the chain rings, the bigger of the two, we've got a 34 tooth chain ring and a 22 tooth chain ring. And this is a which two. Which is going to need, it looks like. Oh, it's going to need it because this is a two by eight and it's a 12 to 32 tooth uh, cassette back there. And this is a free hub. So that is a, definitely a big plus. You, you've confirmed, right? But a 12, yes. But a 12 to 32 tooth, that's going to be rough. Um, so hopefully with the two by up front, um, it'll kind of get us in the climbing department where we need to be. And we're going to be doing that on the real time review, talking all about it. And hopefully this thing during the shift test does pretty well. Uh, now we have the Shimano Altus uh, front derailleur on this thing. That's so weird saying front derailleur. It's been so long. And we have a Shimano Acera rear derailleur. I think most of the Wolfsick Nation is more a fan of the micro shift uh, groups at the 26, I believe it is. Uh, no. No, the 26? 26 is the cheap one. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it was yeah, a Sarah no. that people liked. Yeah, it's something. But, uh, no, I think it might. I, I, we haven't shifted it yet. I think it's going to do decent this shifting decent. wise. But my thing is, can I, I ask that before we do the real time review, can we put something to protect that chain stays? I yeah. think it's going to chain slap really bad. I mean, it I know. It does that, have a little clear coat. Does on it? Well, okay. It's got kind of a decal, clear decal. All right, well, then maybe we won't have to We'll do just it. leave it like that. Right. Um. But I see what you're saying. I don't want to ship that paint up. What I do like about the crank says it has a sealed bottom bracket, okay, as opposed to the really crappy open style. So that's Does good. It? We know that water and all, it's not going to penetrate that as easily. Um, so as it has it would. a sealed cartridge style bottom bracket. Sealed cartridge, 170 millimeter crank arms that are aluminum. They're pro wheel with plastic pedals. And I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing, but it's stamped on the edges of the pro wheel crank set. Bad. It's stamped bad. B A D. Really? Yeah, so that's no, I'll show you guys. That's B A D bad. I don't know if uh, that's, that's like. That's probably the, not a good idea to have something yeah, out to bad. I don't know if that's a void stick or what, but it says bad. Uh, the shifters are Shimano shifters, uh, both left and right, and um, they uh, have display windows, so that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have to do that shift test. I'm curious to see if this thing is going to shift right out of the box. The wheel set is kind of disappointing. We have the free hub, which is great. We have the quick release, which is great. 32 spoke, but I, I really don't know why they didn't give us press the drilled rims. Um, instead, we've got Schrader stuff. That's, that's kind of, I, I don't, I don't like have that. a big problem with that. I understand you do. I like Schrader, although I do understand the universal, you like to carry one tube and it's like, yeah. you know. And I know it'll fit, but it's like, well, why wouldn't they have just done that it kind of feels like they've cheaped out a little bit it's the uh, x15 disc double wall well this is one of the lower end bikes yeah right it's 575 right plus shipping or i guess no, that includes shipping yeah. 575 uh double wall rims with a 27.5 by 2.10 deli tire i believe it's what it is this is a deli tire i have not heard of those and they kind of look like they might be some fast rollers the traction looks to be decent but it's been a long time since i've ridden on a 2.1 that is a little um a little sketchy you know what i'm saying it's probably going to go really fast and not track all that great well you're you're assuming let's wait till the real term review for that yeah um now one thing we did not measure let's see what the frame size is remember this is a medium 27.5 so it should measure out at what 17 17 top of the clamp and it is an 18. Oh. Yeah. That's a little weird. Yeah, so we're going to check the uh, standover, but it's an 18 inch. And it's listed for 5.5. Five. 5.5 five to 5.9. Five 5.9. Five nine. Nine. So I'm telling you, I'm 5.5, five, so this thing better have at least an inch in the crotch area. All right, next, let's go ahead and talk about the front of the bike. Let's talk about the fork, the bars, and the stem. you crotch? It just sounds so off-putting. They even put crotch on the bike when, you, when you're reading that stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
So the fork is an XCM30, all right, SR Sun Tor coil fork, and it's supposed to have 120 millimeters of travel. We're yeah, going to check travel. exposed stanchion. This isn't going to be the amount of travel that it has, but we always do this just to get an idea because we know if it's less than 120, then, uh, then they're lying. All right, so the stanchion is 131 millimeters okay, long. So it can definitely have 120. Mm -hmm. It can have it. Yeah, it we'll does. see if we can bomb the sucker out in the real term review. And it has got 32 millimeter stanchions. And it's got the crappy preload knobs as which dual preload. The dual preload. Everybody knows those are bad. No lockout. That's the only kind of adjustment thing has got. So we're not gonna be doing a Wolfman Dino, okay, on today's episode. <laughs> Uh, now let's talk about the, the last one was a waste of time. Last one was a waste of time. You guys seen it? If you didn't go back and check it out, okay. Uh, the stem is a four bolt aluminum entity, forty five millimeters by three degree rise, right? Three degree rise, um, four bolt. I do like that, and I like that they kind of went the extra mile and put like you know the entity brand on there. You know what I'm saying? They put that, and they also branded the bar, which is funny because the bar is a seven forty. Um, zoom bar okay it's an aluminum zoom bar but they put entity on that as well so it's kind of neat that they put some decals on there it's just I don't know why they wouldn't have called it a zoom I think because people see zoom and automatically think oh that's cheap or, or something bad I don't know. breaks yeah bad breaks <laughs> yeah that's if they've been watching multi videos for sure uh, the grips are not lock-on grips whatsoever but they actually feel really good in the hand and we'll find out in the real time review hopefully you don't get any whiskey throttle action it is a 44 to 44 it says semi integrated headset uh the seat post tube we talked about before again it's a zoom uh branded aluminum seat post tube but it's got the entity brand decal on there to 27.2 and that's as low as it goes so that kind of bothers me um again i like my seat post to be dropped all the way the chainstay length is 430 millimeters long already the reach is 398 millimeters i know we don't normally say those things, but it's on the website, so I figured that's a pretty good source. And yeah, they have a lot of info on on their website. Yeah, you guys can go to the website and check it out. Um, and the head tube angle is 69 degrees. I'm gonna throw out real quick though. This their their website is definitely uh, way better than Canyons. I can yeah. say that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the shift test. All right, let's put some air in these tires. Let's check it. Let's do the shift test. See how this thing shifts, and then we're going to check out some other specs on it. All right, guys, here we go with the shift test. Remember, we got the 2x8 with a 34 chain ring on the outside and a 22 on the inside, and the rear is a 12 to 32 tooth. All right, so first one we're going to start out with is the smaller of the chain rings, right? The 22 uh, tooth. The, yeah. And we'll start with that. go to first gear. Yeah, let's start with first gear. I'm not used to being two shifters. I'm kind of yeah. throwing off. Use the one on the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, first year, second. All right, second. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. And eighth. All right, now all the way back okay, up. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not too bad. Okay, and I'm going to pull, pull. Where'd they go? One, two, three, three four. Yeah, went three, so we're in fifth. Should go to second, in which we are, and back to first. All right, shift definitely not bad on no, the smaller of the bad. chain rings. Tricky. Thirty-four tooth. Let's do it. No. Okay. Okay. And this is the extreme that you don't really, you wouldn't really run it like. Okay. So now that we're on the thirty-four tooth, we're in first gear. Go All ahead. Right. Tested it. Yeah. Second. Okay. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Okay. okay Eighth's a that, little choppy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. That's why I like oh, one buys. Oh, you're going to have a hell of a time at the review. One buys are simple. But all right, guys, let's get this thing on the floor. Let me do a standover because I'm 5'5". Five five. It's supposed to be from 5'5 five five to 5'9". Five we'll do the standover and then we're going to weigh this. Thing. All right, guys, standover height. Frame is a medium, but it's 18 inches instead of 17. Which, that's got me a little perplexed. All right, 5'5 five five uh -huh. to 5'9". Oh, oh, oh. Uh-uh. 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 Uh-oh. It ain't there. Uh, it... That's not good. This is not good. Even if I scoot, even if you move the seat and scoot mm -hmm. back, this is how this. No. See, and the thing is, with was that three hundred ninety-eight millimeter reach? Let me see here. Let me straighten that out. <clears throat> hmm. See, the the worry is even if we got a small, which the reach is going to be shorter, it would be too short. You know what I'm saying? Because this here is... Yeah, it it, that's a, it becomes an aluminum comp situation. Yeah. Where, where the, the standover's not great, but the cockpits or the reach and everything, it's already too small. Yeah. So... See, this right here, 
feels very similar to the aluminum comp. It almost seems really high up on the top tube mm -hmm. and I'm almost too far forward. However, that's possible. I'm going to say this though, that <laughs> bike actually looks sized for you, although Does the it? standover sucks. Yeah, the standover is pretty it's bad. It's not 5'5". Five five. I would say the standover is probably 5'7". Okay. To, to many, you know, but the problem is, is you get much taller, that reach is going to get weird. You know, the thing with the reach though, I, I'm, I'm saying it now before we do the real term review, mm -hmm. I'm kind of saying they should have had a longer stem on this. Because it so. being a cross country bike, I don't think a forty five is right for it. I think it should have been a sixty, maybe like a seventy five millimeter towards kind of maybe like a six degree rise, so it kind of come up a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. it kind of feels like I'm like I can almost already feel it in my back. You know what I'm saying? This mm -hmm. might be a great climbing bike. Um, we'll see what the two by up front, but it just seems like I, it feels very uncomfortable okay. right here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's not get the weight wrong. I'm here. going thirty five pounds. Okay. It's kind of heavy. Okay. Oh, it's not that bad. It's it not terrible. 32.58 pounds. Okay, 32.58. Okay, and we'll go to uh, some kilogram action yeah, for the UKers. Yeah, let's this time. The UK, the UKers, we got 14.78 kilograms. Okay, 14.78. All right, so it definitely weighs a heck of a lot less than what I thought was going to Yeah, be. I think it's pretty uh, close to what it says on the, the site, too. I'll have to look, but I think it's pretty close to what the list is, I mean, which is nice. 32 pounds is nice. I think you get rid of the coil fork on this. We talk about this all the time because 30 pounds is like the pound to try, the weight. You, you always want to try, try to get, to yeah, it wants to get under 30. So, know, really, well, on a hardtail. Well, well, let's talk about that on the who this bike is for because I got some ideas. Yeah, okay. Um, you want to talk about the the pros the likes and the and cons? Dislikes, yeah. likes, likes and dislikes. Yeah, let's likes and dislikes. Okay, I'm gonna start out with mine. Likes hydraulic brakes. Okay, Clark's name brand. The hydraulic brakes are great. Okay, that the XCM fork is 120 millimeters of travel. Um, other than uh, 100 millimeters of travel, I do like that. Rather okay. than, mm -hmm. rather than, I can't talk right now. That's all right. That's great. The quick release, both front and rear, Yes. Um, I am a fan of, and that we've got a free will that's a huge deal, especially for $575. Free you know, hub. Free hub. Um, for $575. Yeah, free hub. It should, anything that's over 400, 400 and over should have one, and really I'd like to see bikes at 300 start having them. Now let's talk about my dislikes. Uh -huh. Okay, my dislikes are the Schrader valves over the Presta, mm -hmm. because it kind of... I'm sorry to say this, but it kind of makes this bike seem cheap. Or dated. Or dated, yeah. It kinda... I have to say, I would normally argue and say, look, Schrader's not that bad. I will agree. It looks dated. It, it, it That's does such a good make word. it look a little dated. The bike looks dated just because of those, first of all. Second of all, it looks dated because it's a two-by with the front, um, the whole hyperdrive. You've been excited about the idea of a two-by for how long, and now you're going to criticize it, make it uh, a I'm just a saying dislike? it's kind of, kind of a dislike. You know, like, why not put a one-by on this thing? Why not get it under 30 pounds? My likes and dislikes, well... My likes are that it's a, I know this is going to sound weird, but it's a 44 millimeter head tube. I prefer that over the, over, like I said before, over tapered just because it gives you more options, which yeah, sounds but, weird. Well, hey, at least it's not a, a 34 to 34. That's, that's exactly it. That. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that they're not, the, the shifters and the brake levers are separate. Well, I mean, the, and the brakes are hydraulic. So oh, they have yeah, to move that's it. a plus. Yeah, um, I mean, they would be separate anyway, but still, I like that they're not together. Yeah. I like that it has hydraulic brakes. I wished it would have come with what it's listed as, and I, if they're going to change what they're coming with, I wish they would change on the website. I think the tires look decent, even though they, they are... A, they're 2.1. Dude, that front tire, that tube's no good. It's yeah. leaking. Yeah. It's, if we pumped it up two yep. times... I know, I was filling it up, I heard a pssss. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Well, we got I a bad tube. Yeah, it came with the bad tube. It's not. It wasn't just flat for shipping. It's no yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the frame size being a medium, being an 18 inch rather than a 17. I do not like that. Stand over sucks. Um, I, I, uh, I don't like that the dropper, the, I mean the dropper. Excuse me, that the seat posts don't go down. If, I don't care what the reasoning is. I don't like that it doesn't go all the way down. Uh, these are things I don't like. I think I, I think I did all the likes. I don't like the the fact that they don't offer free shipping because. At, at four ninety nine, which this is on sale for, I don't think the extra seventy five dollars. I think that kind of makes this bike a little bit overpriced. Okay. I would like this bike. I would feel excited about this bike at at uh, probably four hundred 
I'd be excited about the bike. dollars it would have. At $400 in, I would be excited about this bike. And at $500, just straight $500 with no shipping and all that, I would be okay with this bike at $500. Yeah. Well, who's this bike for? Okay, let's talk about that. Because this bike is for, this is going to sound weird right off the bat, but you'll understand what I'm saying, and a lot of them will too. The first thing this bike is for is somebody that doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but doesn't look like a total cheapskate. Okay. Because yeah. it's not a Walmart bike. It's got a Polygon name. You it's can't got go Polygon, to Walmart which is it. kind of trendy. It's kind of on the upswing these days. Okay. Their names kind of come around. And, uh, you know, if someone, what's funny is, you know, a lot of bike snobs would probably not even know this model exists, mm -hmm. but they'll know Polygon and they'll think higher of that than they would a, a, a Walmart bike in Ozark right. Trail or yeah. something. Um, that's a good point. That's who this bike that's, is for. That's, that's really, a really good point. Because this bike is really not, I don't think this bike is worth the big price over something like a Travel mm -hmm. uh, necessarily although I do like the hydraulic I brakes. mean let's let's face it guys you know this might be a comparison video yeah, future, we might have to do a comparison but let's video. face it I mean the only thing this bike has over some of the bikes that we're talking about is not internal but is hydraulic brakes you think I nailed it yeah I think you nailed it All I don't right. think you should, I mean either, yeah I think you nailed it with the, who this bike's for guys again let us know do you think this is a good deal because that was one of the first questions you know yeah. for five hundred seventy five dollars I'm curious to hear what the Wolf Tick Nation thinks um, it's gonna be interesting to hear what you guys think because I know what we think but that might be for a later episode uh, who is this bike for okay and uh, if not this bike for five seventy five what would you guys buy. What for six hundred dollars, that has to include the price and the shipping. For six hundred dollars, what would you buy? Okay. That's what I want to know. All right. If you have six hundred dollars to spend on a bike, if it's not this one, what bike is it? Damn good question. Answer it. All right, guys. Wolf Tick Nation. That was the initial impressions of the Polygon Premier Four. And uh, again, man, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're any part of the Wolf Tick Nation.